So, a human, an elf, and a dwarf walk into a bar. The human says, You're lucky you're so short. That hurt like mad. You could have just stopped me, Blondie. Why waste a perfectly good setup? What? Just wondering if the feathered pauldrons are an essential part of the moody rebel mage persona. What are you talking about? I'm working on an epic poem about a hopelessly romantic apostate waging an epic struggle against forces he can't possibly defeat. What do you mean, can't possibly defeat? Well, it's not a good story unless the hero dies. You don't like me, Carver. I don't like you. That's unfortunate. Hating someone just because they're a mage is a shameful thing. I don't hate you because you're a mage. I hate you because you won't shut up about it. Oppression this, Templars that. I'd heard enough long before you. Maybe it's time you put some thought into it. Stop looking at me. What's your issue now, little hawk? Don't co- Just don't, alright? You're looking for fodder for your stories. Do you think you're that interesting? I have enough trouble being overshadowed as it is. I don't need to get caught under an imaginary me, too. Don't you worry. I'm not in the business of lullabies or children's stories. You know, Junior, it's eerie how much resemblance there is between you two. We're brothers. What's eerie about that? <laughs> oh, you thought I meant Hawk. I was talking about Gamlin. Maker, I hate you, dwarf. Varric. Carver. Still think you're helping while bearing us in debt to your brother? Still riding side saddle while bitching at your betters? Drinks later. Never miss him. I thought all dwarves had beards. Where's yours? I misplaced it, along with my sense of dwarven pride and my gold-plated noble cast pin. I thought maybe it fell onto your chest. Oh, the broody elf tells a joke. I don't brood. Friend, if your brooding were any more impressive, women would swoon as you passed. They'd have broody babies in your honor. You're a very odd dwarf. And you thought I was joking about the pit. Is brooding a sport into winter? Do they hold competitions? Hand out trophies for the best scowls? I'm not brooding. Moping, then. You seem like you're a champion at it. I'm perfectly content at the moment. Oh, so that's you smiling. <laughs> Glad you clarified that. The moment they are free, mages will make themselves magisters. They're slaves. You should want to help them. I don't. You remind me of Harin Pyvelvaric, only younger and shorter, and not as serious. So, it's a close resemblance, then. Well, he tells stories, and you tell stories. Although, none of his begin, No shit, there I was. I'll have to give him some better stories, then. I've never met a dwarf before. That's because you've spent too much time frolicking in the woods, Daisy. Dwarves don't frolic. Dalish don't really frolic, either. Not in the woods, anyway. You have sanctioned frolicking areas? No, just not in the woods. The trees get jealous. But you do frolic? Of course we do. We wouldn't be elves otherwise. Boiling in oil. Too prosaic. Trapped in a cave with hungry bears right at the spring thaw. That lets him off too easy. Dipped in molten gold and left as a statue in the Viscount's keep. Ooh, that's poetic. What are you two talking about? What to do to Bartrand when I find him. Any suggestions? If you've got something to say, just spit it out. Are you sure you want to encourage me? I might be about to confess my undying love. I get that a lot. So, what's on your mind? I just realized it's been a while since any of the gangs in the Undercity came to my door. They're busy people. Places to go, throats to cut. Maybe you've slipped their minds. Right. The apostate running the free clinic in the sewers. Easy to forget. You didn't have anything to do with this? You must have me confused with someone else. I'm just a businessman and a storyteller. So I hear you've been visiting the Viscount's gardens, Daisy. Oh, they're enormous. And they're always empty. Why don't more people go to see them? Probably because they're private and surrounded by guards. I thought all those men looked a bit cross. You could get another cat, you know. There's one in the Lowtown market with a litter of kittens ready to wean. 
You don't pay attention to Templars, Kunari, or politics, but you notice kittens. Templars, Quinari, and politics don't meow and attack your feet when you're buying food. Are there any tabbies? I'd like a tabby. Did you ever think about killing yourself? I could ask you the same thing. I'm serious. To get out of slavery, to escape Denarius. Don't tell me you never thought about it. I did not. To kill oneself is a sin in the eyes of the Maker. You believe that? I try to. Some things must be worse than slavery. Some things are worse than death. Oh, cheer up, Blondie. You're making me cry just looking at you. Don't. You made a mistake. It happens. I almost killed a girl. You've killed 254 by my last count. Plus about 500 men, a few dozen giant spiders, and at least two demons. It's not the same. Why? Because this one you feel bad about? Maybe that's the problem. If we had a giant rock to push uphill, this would perfectly sum up my life. Varric. You called? I notice you don't have a nickname for me. I call you Hawk. You've probably heard it once or twice. But that's my name. It's not like Daisy or Blondie. All right, Waffles. You really want a nickname? I can hook you up. Waffles? That's... unexpected. You're giving me that look again. What are you writing this time? So, you and Hawk, I need some details. Did you go down on one knee? Did he jump you? Did you swear eternal vows of love, or is this just a physical thing? I don't see how that's any of your business. Fine. But if you don't tell me, I'm just going to have to make it up. Are you happy? Beg your pardon? He seems happy. Hawk, I mean. Are you? Yes, I suppose I am. Good. You've spent much too much time being grumpy. Have I ever mentioned that I like your coat? You do? It's very lively. Like a crow in the middle of hunting. That's... That's great. Thanks, Meryl. I tried to warn you, Blondie. You're not helping. Is there a story behind Bianca? There's a story behind everything, Daisy. So tell me. I can't. Why not? There was a girl and I made a promise. Bianca is the only story I can never tell. You can't say that. Now I want to know even more. <laughs> that was the idea, Daisy. Aveline, what's in Good your mirror? In. What do you mean? Day. In your mirror? What do you see? A warrior? A wife? All the mistakes I made to get here and make it right. Why? What have you decided to see? Sometimes it's hard to tell. Cracks, mostly. Maybe I'll borrow yours sometime. If that's all right. It's all right. Aveline, what's in your mirror? What do you mean? In your mirror? What do you see? A warrior? A wife? All the mistakes I made to get here and make it right. Why? What have you decided to see? My mirror is broken. But I think... I think I see good things. Maybe a headband. When you tell people about our escape from Lothering, why do you make it sound like I had food all over my face? You're larger than life, Hawk. I had to give you a few flaws just to make you approachable. Did you just call me fat? Yes, that's pretty much how I tell it. Hawk rolled into the fray like a gigantic pudding covered in gravy. It's more dramatic that way. I'm not sure about the epicness of this tale. <laughs> Everyone's a critic. Why are you still here, Varric? Starkhaven's too pretentious for me and Cumberland's too boring. You always say you hate commitment, but here you are, six years later, still at Hawk's side. Dabbling. I thought you'd have noticed by now. I lie a lot. And this array of sculptures is known as scurvy bastards reflecting on modern life. After much reflection, they appear to have come to the conclusion... Well, shit.